Hey, how's it going? It's Keith Townsend from the CTO Advisor. Continuing our set of interviews on premises with Datrium, the CTO Dose on prem on Datrium. Thanks a lot for Datrium for sponsoring the CTO Advisor. I'm going again with Hugo, CTO of Datrium, and Tushar, Director of Product yeah. Management or uh, Director of Product? Director of Product Management. Director of Product Management at Datrium. So we're talk talking Cloud DVX. We've gone through, understood the three tiers of Datrium DVX and Cloud DVX and, and the integration between the two. Let's talk more use case. What problem does Cloud DVX solve? Well, it makes it a very simple to get your data off-site. So if uh, that data is not really protected until it is off-site. And for uh, some companies, they have a couple of different data centers or a couple of different colos, and they can replicate from one DVX to another. Uh, but for some, it's a lot simpler just to go to the cloud. Or maybe they're replicating between two data centers, but they want a third uh, level of protection by also getting the data to the cloud. Uh, and so that's what we're delivering now, and we're doing it in the simplest possible way by offering that Cloud DVX as a service. Mm. So we are a SaaS first uh, company that's uh, trying to make it as simple as possible to leverage those cloud resources. Yeah, I think just to add to that, Keith, uh, what we hear from a lot of customers is for many of them, if their second site is only being used for backup purposes, cloud is a great alternative. That can become the second site right. for off-site backups. In case where customers have multiple sites already, cloud becomes a great target for consolidating backups across all those sites which are currently distributed across the geography of a nation, for example, so that they can get to that data in a very fast manner and they can store that data in an efficient way Think of cases of like tapes, where people store a lot of these data in tapes across different places. Cloud DVX provides them the ability to consolidate all that data and get the benefits of data reduction across all that data in the same instance in the cloud. So we'll talk a little bit about data protection after this next set of questions, but clarification, I just want to understand this, because we did a video on Datrium DVX data protection last time we were here with the V Brown Bank crew in the build day, very high level, Go to a detailed overview of Datrium DVX data protection. So is Cloud DVX a equal peer to what we've done in that previous set of videos? Datrium DVX to Datrium DVX replication is now Datrium DVX to Datrium Cloud DVX replication? Absolutely right. And uh, that's exactly what Cloud DVX brings to the table. It brings the same uh, level of data services uh, the same level of data efficiency that we provide to our customers on-prem and delivers that now on top of an EC2 and S3 infrastructure in AWS. So while this is a sponsored video, I still got to ask the, the, the tough questions. Any data protection solution worth its salt has to work. So I have to protect the data, I have to replicate the data. Mm -hmm. So logically, I can get Datrium DVX to Cloud DVX in mindset. I, I get the data there. A lot of solutions promise me to do that. You guys are on par easily with those solutions. The question is, how do I get data back? What, what, how, how is that data in the cloud useful? Yeah, so if you're uh, looking at the GUI in the, in the DVX on-prem, you can browse snapshots that are there local to that DVX, but you can also browse snapshots that have been stored uh, up in the cloud and it's as easy to click on uh, one of the snapshots in the cloud and say I want to pull that back as it is to restore a local one. Obviously it takes a little bit of time but because we are deduplicated, we're content addressed for all of the data uh, and we only need to send back the different data that, you know, the unique data that's not uh, on-prem, we actually reduce by a huge amount the amount of data that needs to be transferred back so that that, uh, that re restore back on-prem can be as fast as possible. The other thing about our solution, Keith, is that we are, unlike traditional storage systems, we are VM and VMDK-centric. 
And so what that means is that what we are putting out in the cloud can be restored back in a smaller granularity than a LUN, for example. Mm. And what that really means is that customers have full control over what they bring back. So they're not bringing back huge quantities of stuff that they don't want. Rather, they can be very targeted and they can bring back exactly the, the disk that they want the data in. So but, there's reasonable limits to any solution in which I replicate off-prem. One of the ones is, you know, I have so much bandwidth. You guys don't magically, you know, speed up light. So the amount of time that it takes to get from site A to site B doesn't change whether it's a cloud-based solution or if it's a physical solution from point A to point B that both customers con control. Yeah. But there are other operational concerns. Mm -hmm. So for a DR solution, for example, and I completely lose my site A, which has my main Datrium DVX solution, do I lose my backup catalog to what, how do I restore to a completely different site? Yeah, absolutely. So that's actually one of the cool features about Cloud DVX is that you can replicate to the same Cloud DVX instance from multiple on-prem systems. And at the same time, once you have data sitting in Cloud DVX, mm. you can restore it back to any of the on-prem systems that are paired with that Cloud DVX instance. Now, the fact that we dedupe the data before it gets transferred helps a lot in terms of accelerating the space at which data can be restored. So our RTOs are anywhere 2x lower than our competitors who operate in the same space. Yeah, we can't... Uh change the speed of light, but you can change how much data you have to send. And that's where all of our data being deduplicated uh, is very important in, in minimizing what has to be sent. Yeah. Having yeah. said that, if, if, you, uh, if you in fact lost all on-prem systems and had to bring all of the data back, it, it would still be painful. The speed of light applies. And that's why we're working over the course of this year uh, to bring uh, DR uh, capabilities to the public cloud itself so that you could leverage those snapshots that you've replicated to the cloud uh, to uh, recover, to, to restart those workloads in the cloud. So not available yet, but that's a, a hot activity of development for so this So not year. just a vault for, restore, for holding data and, ship and shelling data from site to site, eventually the roadmap is I'll be able to run some of those workloads directly in the cloud. That's right. Right, I think just a couple of great points. So a couple of quick additions to that would be, you have to keep in mind what you are comparing it against. Now, most of the customers have tapes for mm -hmm. long-term retention. And one of the customers was sharing with us that it takes three to five days to get one VM back if there was a compliance requirement. Mm -hmm. Now compare that with a Cloud DVX instance running in the cloud, you're talking about seconds and minutes, right? So that's an order of magnitude difference right there. From a cloud, I, I think Huber said, the, the strategy and the goal that we have is to really enable on-demand DR. Right? And what that means for our customers is no longer would they need to keep a site around for DR purposes. They can use the bursting capability in the cloud and pay as you go to have true on-demand DR so that they can save huge amounts of money. So I'm going to get greedy because I'm a greedy architect. Can If I can have three copies of my data, I'd love to have three copies of my data. Can I do Datrium DVX on-prem to cloud, to a tertiary copy somewhere else, C, and have uh, basically three copies of the data so that if I lost one site, I have the cloud DVX as a option for keeping dedupe data. I know that there's going to be a cost from a data, you know, if, I'm, if I want three copies of my data, there's going to be a data transfer cost to that. But from a system capability, if I'm willing to pay the price for the data transfer, can I have kind of that star replication, not necessarily star replication, but that bus relation replication where, I'm, where the cloud holds a copy of my data from two functional data centers, and then I replicate to those two functional data centers. Yeah, so from the first release of uh, our, our replication capability, you've been able to uh, replicate from one system to multiple other systems. And now the, the cloud DVX is just another uh, system you can replicate So it basically becomes to. a quorum. Uh, 
Yeah, you don't even need that level of uh, clustering. Uh -huh. It kind of complicates things, and, okay. and can, so that's not necessary. So not even this, not even the, as as complex as a quorum, yeah. but just the ability. You know, if I want if I want two copies, cloud DVX is a destination, and uh, cloud and and prem, prem, site prem two. two is yeah, a destination. That's right, and you just click it. And in the GUI, there's a little drop down. Here's all of your configured destinations, and you just click, click. I want these two out of five, and and you can do that uh, for each protection group. So, what's exciting for 2018? What what can we look forward to? You're you're, you're the product management guy. Mm -hmm. What's been the big request outside of being able to run workloads? in the cloud, what are some of the big requests from customers? Yeah, no, absolutely. So I think if you look at our journey so far, uh, FY16, as Hugo rightly pointed out, was all about delivering the best primary converged platform, right? And we've gone ahead, we've had several uh, benchmark runs which have blown away competitive results. So we've kind of done a great job with that. Uh, FY17 was all about a great backup story and we brought to the market an infrastructure which could do uh, data protection while performing great performance, you know, for the application. So kind of integrate all of them, and, and we've seen the effects of that. Uh, we are now bringing to the market a great cloud story where uh, customers have a single pane of glass where they can manage a VM all the way through its primary backup and cloud lifecycle. And so uh, our our focus and strategy in FI18 is to continue you know, uh, game-changing innovations on each of these three areas with a special emphasis on cloud. As I pointed out, we'll be uh, focused on SaaS-based manageability and on-demand DR of the infrastructure, whether it's on-prem or in cloud, providing customers with the simplest way to manage their DR plans. Well, Tushar, Hugo, I really appreciate you guys taking out the time. Datrim, I really appreciate you guys sponsoring the CTO Dose on-prem. We'll talk to you next CTO Dose. If you want to find out more about Datrium, visit the website, datrium.com. Want to find out more about the CTO Advisor, thectoadvisor.com, where we, you can find all the great content from the podcast, which you go, we've done a sponsored podcast with Datrium. Look that up. We'll, we have another one up on the pipe where you can find out more about Datrium, as well as other great content on thectoadvisor.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Talk to you next CTO Dose.